is Joelle Human, and welcome to the first lesson of FashionHustler.com. Okay, so really quick, let me just tell you. In the old days, fashion design consisted of drawing by hand and sketching out an outfit like an illustration to decide what kind of clothing they were going to design. From this sketch, patterns would be created and fabric would be bought, and they would use sewing machines to make the garment. But in this era, we don't do that. We digitize and computerize everything. So in essence, what I'm saying to you is you don't have to be an artist to be a designer. You don't have to be an artist to start your own clothing line. All you have to do is know how to click a button, have a computer, and have the program available. And that's what I'm going to be teaching you. I'm going to be learning from Adobe Illustrator and Photoshop, but primarily Adobe Illustrator because it uses vectors to create the design and Photoshop, used later on, it uses bitmap. Now, the difference between vectors and bitmaps is that vectors are mathematically uh, calculated points, and it fills the color inside those areas. So you could zoom in and lose no um, clarity in the picture, and it's sharp. And you can zoom out and you lose no clarity as well. With Photoshop, uh, bitmap images like a photograph, you notice when you zoom in really close, it becomes fuzzy and pixelated. So that's the difference between vectors and bitmaps, and that's why Adobe Illustrator, we use vectors so that we can zoom in, zoom out, stretch, enlarge, shrink, and use the graphics as we need. So we're going to go from this kind of style to doing it like this computerized okay look how sharp it is how clean now we're going to be using Adobe Illustrator so hopefully you downloaded that already from the Adobe website or you have a copy so I'm going to go to my finder window okay I'm going to go to my applications I'm going to click Adobe Illustrator CS5 now this is my file icon so this is where my app is I'm going to click it I'm going to drag it over to my dock now this creates an alias or in other words a shortcut to opening the program so I don't have to keep doing application folder and finding the icon in there close that up now I can just go to my dock I'll click it and it opens up okay so we're gonna do this really fast <clears throat> what I want to show you for this first video is just the very basics of opening closing uh, illustrator quitting the program, opening a new document, and showing you around uh, the desktop, okay? So, now Illustrator is open. We're going to click File, New, and we can call this file Testing 1, 2. Okay, now for the new document profile, we can just put either CMYK or RGB, either which one, doesn't matter right now. Okay, the size of the paper or the document that we're going to be working on uh, is letter. Okay, and we're going to switch to inches. Now from width to height is 8.5 inches <coughs> on the width, 11 inches on the height. So think of that as a piece of paper standing vertically. Or we can click here on the orientation and make it horizontally. And you notice that the width changes from 11 inches to width and 8 inches, uh, eight and a half inches in height. Okay, so let's click uh, OK. Either or, like I said, doesn't matter which one. Let's click OK. Now the window opens. Now this is your paste area, this uh, gray area. So whatever you put over here, when you print out your document, only the, the artwork that's in the white box right here is going to show. So, for example, just for the sake of this, um, video if I click the rectangle tool and I click and I drag the rectangle okay now this side of the rectangle will show when I print the document this side of the rectangle won't so what we want to do is we want to make sure all the artwork is within the artboard area right here okay now this is your menu up here okay all these things are part of the tabs for your menu area or excuse me your tab area now if you see here file new is where we open the document and if we can do file open which will let us find a document from within our hard drive okay I can click that select it and it'll open it 
So if you have, oh, it's missing a font. So if you have a document or a file on your computer that you want to locate to open an Illustrator, you would go File, Open, select OK, and it would bring it into Illustrator. Okay? Now this is just a template. We don't need it. So I'm going to go right here and click this X button. And we'll close that up. Now File, Close would close our document. We don't want to close it right now. We'll do that later, so I'll click Cancel. Okay, And we have other options here that we'll get to later on. But let's click File Save. So anytime that you start working on a, a file, you want to save it immediately. So save it to the desktop. It's asking what version. CS5 is the one you were using, but if you want to give it to someone else, let's say you want to send this file to someone that has a previous version of Illustrator, you would click here and scroll down to the version that they have. So it's compatible with their computer. Okay, click OK. And we can go File, Save As. Back the same way, and if we notice in Format, we can actually switch to a PDF down here and other file options. Okay. So this is just in case you want to create a PDF of your artwork. Okay, we click Save PDF. All right, now if you notice in the Edit window, excuse me, the Edit menu, when it has the tab dra uh, drag down, click and drop down, we'll notice that there's a Paste option. There's all these other options here that we're going to get to later, but I just kind of want to show you a quick version. All right, we have Object, and uh, in this tab, this is uh, all going to be used once you start creating artwork. In the Type tab, this is where you'll control your font uh, options. Select is also part of selecting the graphic or the artwork, and we'll use these later. The Effect, you can do different effects similar to Photoshop uh, from within this uh, program. View allows us to control the view of the document. So for example, if I click, scroll down to zoom in, it starts to zoom in. Okay. Now if I want to zoom out, I'll zoom out. Now if you notice on the right right here is the command icon and the minus. So if I were to push on my keyboard command minus, it would zoom out. And if I push command plus on my keyboard, it zooms in. So I keep pushing it, it keeps zooming in. If I do command zero, it fits to window. Okay. So you see all of these options right here on the side uh, of zooming. Okay, now there are other options that we're going to cover later, but this is just the basics. <coughs> Excuse me, now in Window, and we scroll to Workspace, this will control the way the document is set up in terms of the tools. So we scroll down to Workspace like Photoshop. It gives us our tools, our palette, looking like Photoshop. Now right here on the side is called panels. So you notice the panels here look like Photoshop. If we go back to window, we scroll down to workspace and we go essentials, it'll give us just the bare essentials for Illustrator. Okay. Now this long bar here on your left is the most important thing you're going to be using in Illustrator and this is your toolbar. This is where you get all your tools. This is where you're going to be working from the most. When you select the tool, you begin to create your artwork and the panels right here on the right side will give you options for controlling those tools. Right up here, this is your menu. And when you select the tool on the left, let's use a pen tool for example. All right. Now you notice the menu at the top changes. The menu up here gives me options for this tool. Okay, if I click here, now the menu changes. See, now I can select the options on the top and they change per tool. Okay, so we're going to get more into the tools and the other features of Illustrator on the next video. This is just a quick run through. Now, to close a document, we can click this uh, button right here, this circle all the way on the left, upper left um, top of the file. Okay, and we'll click Don't Save. Or another way to close is go file, close. Okay, we don't need to save it, and there it goes. And to quit, we can go back up here to the top menu and scroll down to quit Illustrator. And that's how you open up 
use Illustrator for the documents and the tools and all these things. So stay tuned for the next video. Those are the basics. Please feel free to come back here and watch the video again if you have any issues.